um, the topic of the smart 80 centimeter solid satellite dish. So you see the basic components of the satellite dish here in front of me. Uh, what we have is the specially coated satellite dish here. Uh, we have um, a dish bracket and a dish arm in front of us here, uh, which um, are made out of high quality um, uh, plastic, which makes them ideal um, for um, surviving the, uh, the, the weather because it makes them almost impervious to uh, corrosion. Uh, we have a, an, an elevation bracket here with the U-bolts associated with it. We have a locking bolt here and a series of nuts and bolts. And also we have uh, added to the dish um, everything else is made by Smart Electronics. We just have a, a simple uh, bracket to allow this dish to be mounted onto a wall. So it's a bracket and a wall tube. Uh, so I'll now quickly cover um, uh, the topic of um, how to assemble a satellite dish. Um, you can see here in front of us uh, that we haven't included uh, LMBs uh, in this particular kit and that's allowed people to select which type of LMB they need. So once again the LMBs are all manufactured by Smart. We have a single, a twin, a four-way quad LMB and also a quattro LMB that would be used uh, with uh, multi-switches. Um, uh, uh, so in this particular example I'm going to take a, a, si a simple uh, single LMB here. So what I do here is um, I pick up uh, the, the only tools that I need for this particular job will be uh, a Phillips screwdriver and a 13mm spanner or, or alternatively a ratchet with a 13mm socket. Um, so at this point here I just get a cap that goes over this LMB, I slot it into position and what I do now is I simply come along, I get my screw in like this, just push it lightly through the hole, get my screwdriver and I would normally drive this all the way home, lock it into position and um, I repeat the same process um, for the screw on the far side and just lock this in position. So that's it in total, the arm is fully assembled at this point. Um, so I'll just move on to the actual dish itself now. So the first step I do here is actually turn over the satellite dish. And I put the elevation at the dish bracket in the back of the dish. And I come along and I pick up a 10 millimeter um, nut here. And I drop it into position. So if you actually looked here, it's very hard to see because of the background colour, but there's actually two grooves uh, within this um, uh, hole here that actually hold the nut into position. So what we do now is we simply come along, we get this um, bolt with a, a, a Phillips head on it, a slot on the top of it, and I slot this through the particular satellite dish. And what we do here is we simply use my finger now to uh, rotate that nut to lock it into position. And now what we do is we simply turn over the satellite dish for demonstration purposes. Normally I do this upside down, but just with the nut there, we come along and I continue to hold the nut on the back with my finger, and then I just lock that tightly into position. So I can actually lock it all the way without even needing to use a spanner, uh, simply because of the holding uh, slots on the back of the dish. So normally, of course, we put in a total of four nuts here, but for as this is just a demonstration, I'll just continue on by putting in uh, uh, one more nut in, the, in a diagonal direction from there. So what we do is we just come along, we drop in this nut again, slot it into position as it has done there now. We push the bolt uh, up through the hole. Hopefully, we'll find it here. And now we just rotate the nut here. And once again, turn over the dish, pick up the Phillips uh, screwdriver, and lock this nut firmly into position. Now we move directly on to um, the actual elevation bracket. So with the elevation bracket, um, it can be mounted two different ways, this way or this way. Uh, the correct manner is for the earth symbol, which is very hard to make out and this is simply stamped on, uh, is on the bottom part of the dish. And also there's a mark here to show you the elevation and you want that mark to be on the top of the particular uh, dish. So what we do is we come along and we'll just widen it out by hand, slot it into position. If you keep an eye here, you'll see we're lining up this hole here. Do the same on the far side, and now it's locked into position. So I've already put on one of these gripping brackets here, and I'll repeat the same process with the gripping bracket on the top part of the position. Turn it over, drop on this gripping bracket here. Uh, we have, very conveniently, we have um, nuts here that have uh, washers uh, with it, and it saves having two separate parts, and it makes the assembly just that little bit uh, quicker and less likely to lose um, uh, small washers. So that's it then. Now the next part is to actually lock this bracket onto uh, the, the actual dish bracket. 
So what we do here is we, we have, normally in all other dishes I've ever seen, what they have at this point is that simply have bolts and washers that slot through. But here, a quite brilliant design by Smart Electronics, they have a U-bolt that simply slots through the two holes here. And you'll see that the net result of this, the far side of the dish here now, and um, it slots in. And this gives an extremely firm grip on the satellite um, dish. So I mean, I would say compared to any other 80 centimeter satellite dish I've seen, this smart one is far, far superior in terms of design, its robustness, and particularly with the plastic and bone tree on it. So now this is it. Uh, we wouldn't drive this all the way home because we won't tighten it in fully until we have a position where the dish has actually been aligned and um, for a particular satellite. For example, uh, this dish could be used with Hotboard Astro 1. It actually could be used for Astro 2, say for the Irish channels or Irish and BBC channels, but you know, probably a little bit large for that. But for German, French, Polish channels, this is a perfect size dish. So we come along now, and we, what we want to do is we simply want to put this arm on. So for, I'll hold this up here so you can see, and all we do is we come along and we simply push this arm in here like this. And you can hear, hear that click. What's actually happened on the back here is that the little, two little plastic lapels either side have now clicked into position and are firmly locked in. So no nuts or bolts are needed on this. And then the final part of the process here is to come along and to put this dish onto this particular bracket here. And now we'd use uh, just our fingers initially and then a 13 millimeter um, socket or a spanner to tighten that in and then we do a final alignment for the satellite and that's it. So a quite fine uh, satellite dish, uh, the smart 80 centimeter uh, solid dish.